In the heart of West Asia, Lebanon finds itself caught in a vicious cycle of conflict and economic hardship that threatens to dismantle the very fabric of its society. The ongoing military actions by Israel against Hezbollah have dropped like heavy stones into an already tumultuous sea, creating ripples that exacerbate the nation's long-standing economic challenges. As military tensions escalate, Lebanon, already grappling with severe financial instability, faces the dire prospect of further disintegration amidst dark clouds of uncertainty. For years, the pillars of the Lebanese economy have crumbled under the weight of immense national debt, intermittent electricity supply, and a banking system on the brink of paralysis. The population, once vibrant, now lives in the shadows of poverty, with statistics indicating that over 50% now struggle to meet even their basic needs. The caretaker government under Prime Minister Mikati is like a ship lost at sea, unable to navigate the stormy waters of political instability and external pressures that only serve to deepen the crisis. The origins of Lebanon's economic malaise trace back to October 2019, when a banking crisis effectively locked citizens out of their savings, leading to a catastrophic economic breakdown. The devastation was compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic and the harrowing Beirut port explosion, which rent a gaping hole in the city's infrastructure and spirit. Now the Lebanese lira stands at a precipice, devalued by over 98% against foreign currencies, creating an unbearable cycle of inflation that strips away any remaining sense of financial security. As airstrikes displace thousands, the humanitarian crisis unfolds with grave urgency. Every corner of Lebanon feels the impact, with schools hastily reconfigured to shelter the displaced, yet the systemic lack of resources leaves many without adequate shelter or support. A stark ultimatum from Israel's leadership further complicates matters as it insinuates that Lebanon must rein in Hezbollah or risk facing a fate similar to Gaza. This provocation unnerves a population already battered by internal strife, leaving them trapped in a perilous situation. Efforts to assist the beleaguered populace, including a national emergency plan activated by the government, remain largely superficial amidst the vast needs. Just a mere $50,000 has been allocated to Sidon, starkly inadequate against the backdrop of escalating demands. Meanwhile, international conversations continue in an urgent plea for humanitarian intervention amidst an economic crisis spiraling beyond control. Ultimately, Lebanon stands at a crossroads, facing an uncertain future, desperately searching for the light of hope amid overwhelming shadows.